Well, this is Chinmay uh, from Maker Clinic. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to discuss about the engine assembly loop. Just, just, just in case, if you have seen the video, I'm not sure about it, but I still thought of you know sharing this information with you guys. Uh, most of the time, we have used engine uh, oil while assembling the engine, but um, there is a problem when you use the engine oil because when you keep the engine vertical and for long period without you know starting up the engine just for idle, idle, you know, uh, I mean. Uh, further assembly if you are saying that i'm going to do the assembly after two days or three days then there is a problem uh, when you do the assembly and when you start the motorcycle or any engine so to avoid the damages of the spare parts if you use the engine assembly loop then the engine assembly loop doesn't come down to uh, towards you know to the engine sump or the uh, or to the tank so it stays over there unless until you start the engine it has got specific you know uh, thickness or the uh, density it can mix up very well in the engine oil when you start the engine so why do we need engine assembly loop when you start the engine and if you use the engine oil what happens basically you are not going to start up engine immediately so the oil whatever the oil you have used for the lubrication purpose to avoid the friction oil basically come down towards the bottom side so just imagine if there is no oil and if you start the engine then what will happen certainly it will damage the engine but if you are going to start up the engine immediately then there is a chance that you don't need to use you may not need that engine assembly loop at that time but it depends on condition it depends on engines because bigger engines take some time to assemble the engine it is not so immediately or one day job where you can start and you know, in the evening you are going to start up the engine no it is not like that engine oil immediately drips down it is not going to stay over there so to avoid that to avoid the damages of the engine spare parts just this is the best lubricant where you can use uh, while assembling the engine you can use it for the bearings it mix up with the engine oil without any problem so you don't have to worry that you are using something which is not going to mix up it's not a grease it's a special engine assembly lube so when you start the engine it mix up with the engine oil and it basically uh, leaves that area and then oil engine oil takes that place right so when you start the engine you have to you know uh, you don't have to worry about whether you're going to your spares are going to get damaged or not but if you're going to start as i mentioned that if you're going to start the engine immediately then definitely you don't need that you can use engine oil as well so let's start up with the engine assembly loop. So this is the engine assembly loop. You get it in many forms, not only in uh, tubes. This is a nozzle. You get in tin also. You get in bottle also. You just have to pick the nozzle hole. You just have to make the hole so you can apply the engine assembly loop properly on the bearings or wherever the cavity is there. You can use your fingers as well. It depends on the condition. There are many companies also available, not only particular. But as you can see, it looks like grease, but it is not grease. You just have to apply, you just have to apply uh, firmly on each and every, you know, uh, if, if, if you are applying on roller or bearing properly on the surface, you just have to make a film on it. Do not apply grease. This is not grease. It looks like, but it is not. So just apply it firmly on the spare parts even if uh, spare parts are sliding type of it depends on this avoids a lot of damages this avoids a lot of damages i am not saying using engine oil instead of uh, engine assembly loop is bad it's a conventional old um, what do you say the procedure but uh, kind of this is I feel better than using oil if I if I'm not going to assemble the engine immediately in engine oil what happens as I mentioned it before in my introduction that it drips on and if you start the engine then even when the engine comes to rpm uh, idle rpm the idle rpm is very high so at that time if it is not if the oil is not there in some engines as you can see that in the field uh, chamber is different crank chamber is different and the oil tank is different it's a weight some system so it the uh, oil takes time to enter in the crank chamber so at 1500 rpm just imagine in a minute okay, what if the crank bearing gets damaged on which you have just worked on you have done just over engine over all the so what if it gets damaged so this is to avoid this kind of a damage Make sure you have 
fitted this properly this is just one part i'm showing because the 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 video is regarding only engine assembly loop not regarding the engine assembly You just saw the video uh, how I applied the engine assembly loop on the bearing. This is one of the small part what I am showing. I am not going to show you how to uh, assemble the engine. Most of the videos I have showed, but definitely I will do it again. But this video is particularly only regarding the engine assembly loop. So uh, if you can source out the material, then nothing like it. Uh, nowadays it's available in our country also, so you don't have to worry about it. But just in case if you are you going to start up the engine immediately in a day. So I don't think you need that engine assembly loop. You can use regular engine oil uh, only. Uh, but just in case, if you are working on bigger engines, then make sure that your uh, spare parts are very well lubed. Thanks for watching and have a great day.